All right, so I'm at the, uh, the Ponderosa here in uh, Slab City. That's the place with uh, the British flag right there in the background. Hopefully you guys can see it. And then uh, I didn't notice, but they also have a Canadian flag. So that was, I guess it's an international place. So this, this is also a, a hostel. Um, they are also on Airbnb. Uh, so I, again, I didn't ask how many, how much the, uh, the rooms are, but he has, a, he has a pretty good amount of trailers. Here, let me turn this around. Uh, he's got a good amount of trailers that, uh, that you can stay in. Um, there's, yeah, there's, there's several places actually here that you can stay in. Uh, I don't know what the price ranges are, but this place is actually uh, trying to become self-sufficient, grow their own food, and uh, and literally be 100% off-grid so that they don't have to go into town other than for uh, maybe the spirits. Uh, they do have pigs here. I'm sure they don't provide bacon. I don't know, maybe they do. There's the rooster. There's the pig. That's a big one, huh? There's another one over there, another big one. There you go. Hey, buddy. So you got, oh, that rooster's looking mean, looking mean. You got several chickens here. This is actually very, very ingenious using an tr old trampoline to, to house them. Makes it a whole lot easier. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome right there. I like that idea. And then, oh, they can run that way. Look at that. All right. They, uh, they do have breakfast here from, what was it, what the sign say, 7 to 11, 9 to 11, something like that, something like that. So uh, if you're, if you're feeling hungry, you want some breakfast, feel free to stop on by. Uh, they do have, for club members, they have dinner here every night as well. Uh, I don't know what it takes to become a club member. I would assume an annual fee, maybe, of something. Five dollars, ten dollars, I don't know. But, uh, oh, the inside of the pig pen. Hey, buddy. I hope you're not looking to get fed, because I ain't got no food. Yeah, how you doing? I ain't got no food, buddy. I do apologize for that. And uh, looks like it's a workshop as well. So we're gonna go ahead and head in. Uh, I was told a story about that motorcycle there. not going to repeat it. I'll let you guys come here and uh, ask yourselves about that. They do have a couple dogs there, three of them, lounging around. Don't know if those skis are ever used. Outside lounge with a barbecue pit. I was told every Tuesday night they do rock out back here. A bunch of people from the slabs come and uh, bring their guitars and, and they just party it up, uh, have a barbecue and just have some good old times. It's actually, today is Monday, 
so they actually invited me to come by tomorrow I wasn't planning on staying another day however I just got invited to a party I don't know that I want to leave quite right now so these are more these are more rooms that are on on a Airbnb uh, it looks like they have their own laundry service right there this is actually a very nice barbecue pit I really like it gonna go ahead and head in <coughs> sorry guys if you guys don't want to get filmed let me know I'll blur you out okay so uh, this is a uh, this is the the main lounge area is this the bar no, it's, a lounge. it's a lounge it's a lounge for my Airbnb I got gotcha. you okay a lot of spirits you got, you got a big TV here you guys got get any channels oh yeah I get internet I have a uh, internet I get TV signal everything I've powered okay I have solar power battery power generator power whatever I need okay how much are the rooms uh, depends on what room you'd like oh I see okay <laughs> okay. <coughs> and you they have range from forty dollars right on down to twenty five dollars. <laughs> okay, that's very reasonable actually. Yeah, it's uh cheaper than a new any, any hotel. Yeah, absolutely is. And out here you get more of an experience than going to a regular hotel. And out here you get the experience of people that you get to meet. Uh different things that go on in Slab City. We every night of the week there's something different. Yeah. Yeah, there was a party just over at the skate park last night. Yeah, at the skate park last night. Tonight, uh, I think, is Mojo's, right down, the, right down the road here. Tomorrow night is my place. Uh, Wednesday night was Wednesday. They have karaoke. karaoke. Thursday, they have Mojo's. Mojo's Friday? again. And then Friday is... Uh, oh, right next to the Blue Church. Mike, Mike. Doing the songs. Karaoke. Yeah. Friday. Okay. Saturdays. Right? Saturdays is the rain. They all kind of blur together. Yeah. That's why it's hard. To <coughs> and Sunday they do what they call as a Sunday fun day. Everybody gets together, oh, brings a dish it. to the Sunday fun day, and I guess they do all this stuff. Okay. So you said you have internet yes, here for. I have HughesNet. HughesNet. I have a, a satellite internet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's um, good. I watch HBO, I can watch whatever I want. Oh, okay. Um, Netflix, Hulu, regular TV, CBS, CBN, whatever. Okay. Uh, sports shows, whatever I want. I can do it. Cool. That's, that sounds good. So this is a... During, we stay here year-round. I'm here during the summer, too. I have air-conditioned. My, my house is air-conditioned, and this cabin right here is also air-conditioned for one guest guests that want to come out and experience uh -huh. the uh, heat. There are people that want to do that. They want to come out here and experience that, you know, because it's different in their life. Yeah. Um, I've had old people, 65-year-old lady, come out here with her son and stay in my George trailer for two weeks just to experience the heat. The 122 degrees? The 122 degrees. Yeah. yeah it, it, it gets it, hot it, here. Um, it's like a, like, kind of like a cleansing thing, you know, because you're body dries out um, a lot of salt yeah taste. right right uh, my dog's constantly licking me in the summer because she wants the salt off my body yeah um, but you have to drink a lot of water a lot of water or you just right I've seen a lot of people die out here because of the sun and because of the heat I've fallen out twice really? myself yeah I'm not drinking enough water uh, heat exhaustion, heat exhaustion. yeah yeah, I've, I've certainly dealt with heat, and I don't like it. <laughs> That's for I sure. I don't mind it. In here, you know, it might be hot, but the more sun that I cover off, usually I put big tarps up and around during the summer because it's not very windy. Mm -hmm. So the tarps are able to stay up, and uh, we block out the sun, and it stays pretty cool underneath here. I keep fans going. I have them put out all over. Mm -hmm. uh, it stays pretty comfortable. You know. How's the... Uh 
the wind here is a, a windmill a, a doable thing here a windmill yeah uh, during a win winter, I'm sorry a wind turbine wind turbine during the winter yes these are winter months right now right, right. Through January February and March it starts changing um, but yeah during the summer no there's hardly any wind during the summer <laughs> oh, okay so, out here your best bet is to do solar panels uh, the larger the panel the better the intake of power. I right. have I panels that bring in 280 watts a piece. I'll be adding to those. I, I have one broken down at the moment, so I'm only at three quarters of what I should be doing. Okay. Uh, I'm but sorry, hang on. I do have you in the camera. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right, because I can blur you out. No, you're good. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't want to intrude on your privacy. No, I appreciate it. I don't care. Cool Some people here might, so it's good. Yeah, it just common common courtesy. Wow. I'll Are ask. Are you uh, filming for like YouTube or something? Yeah, I'm st I'm starting up a channel. I don't have very many subscribers right now. <laughs> it's like my total, but uh, I'll I'll bleep that out. <laughs> All right, and then this is the lounge right here. This is my lounge here. I'll go ahead and uh, don't worry. I'll blur you out. I'll well, you want you. to. That's an ugly face. That's I'll, I'll <laughs> I appreciate that. Sorry. No free advertising. I got gotcha. you. So this is the lounge where everybody hangs out yeah. during the day. You got a nice. Oh, they want to come here. They just come here and sit around, get on the internet once in a while. Well, at least it's my guests that okay. uh, come here. You know. So uh, I did want to ask you about your. Uh, your British flag and your Canadian flag over there. Uh, it's just the meaning of anybody who wants to come can. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so it doesn't matter. Internationally what welcome. Doesn't matter. Right. It doesn't matter what your color of your skin is to me, or what your ethnic group background is, or whatever you know. People from all over the world. From, from all over the world. Tons of people. Yeah. Um, There's a guy from Saudi Arabia here. Yeah. Saudi Arabia. Doing the same thing people you are. from Korea. Um, Was it Israel. Israel, uh, the Iceland, Germany. There's Germany. some people in Germany at dinner with us last night. Yeah, from Julia, that's right. That's the okay. Photographers. Good all about that. And uh, nice. I want to take a picture of your, your kitchen over here if I'm allowed to. Yeah, go ahead. This is actually brand new. Is we it? just built this kitchen up this year. Uh, I just want to uh, make sure she doesn't mind being on camera. Our old kitchen only came to here. Anyway. And this, this, this opening was a chili door that opened up and uh, hooked up right here to hold it open. So this is how big our kitchen was. Okay. Okay. Cool. So all right. Added Thank all you. This on. Uh, it's made like a galley. If you ever been in a galley of a ship. Uh, I've been in a small galley of a small ship. Well, going... everything is right here around you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, take the camera. So you guys got a pretty big grill here. This is the uh, the second refrigerator I've seen. And you got, oh, you got two stoves. Please use other oven. Thank you. I like it. All right, thank you for letting me film. Thank you. What do we have there? Viking cutlery, huh? Sports fans. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, there's some people here don't want to be filmed, so I will respect their privacy. Uh, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed what I got to show.